Hello, and welcome to today's discussion on a topic that touches many. Lives addiction. Whether it's an addiction to substances, behaviors, or even thoughts, many of us struggle with breaking free from these chains. But what if I told you that ancient wisdom, specifically Stoic philosophy, offers profound insights on how to overcome addiction? Today, we'll explore how Stoic principles can guide us in reclaiming our freedom. Focusing on specific addictions like smoking, social media, and more. Understanding addiction through a Stoic lens. Addiction, in its essence, is the loss of control over our own will. According to the Stoics, one of the key principles of living a good life is understanding what is within our control and what is not. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, You have power over your mind not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. When we become addicted, we surrender control to external substances or behaviors, allowing them to dictate our actions and emotions. The first step in overcoming addiction is recognizing that while the addictive substance or behavior is outside our control, our response to it is within our control. 1. Breaking free from smoking addiction. Smoking is one of the most common and challenging addictions. It's not just the physical dependency on nicotine, but also the psychological habits. Tied to smoking weather, it's smoking to relieve stress, to fit in socially, or simply out of habit. Stoic strategy. The dichotomy of control. To combat smoking addiction, we can apply the stoic concept of the dichotomy of control. We cannot control the cravings that arise due to nicotine withdrawal, but we can control our response to these cravings by focusing on our ability to choose not to smoke. Even when the urge is strong, we can gradually weaken the power that smoking holds over us. Mindfulness and self-awareness. When a craving hits, practice mindfulness by acknowledging the craving without judgment. Notice how it feels in your body and mind, and remind yourself that this feeling is temporary. By observing the craving instead of reacting impulsively, you can build the strength to resist it. Negative Visualization Use negative visualization to imagine the long-term consequences of continuing to smoke damaged health, decreased quality of life, and the impact on loved ones. This can reinforce your commitment to quitting and help you stay focused on the bigger picture. 2. Overcoming Social Media Addiction In today's digital age, Social media addiction has become increasingly prevalent. The constant need for validation, fear of missing out, FOMO, and the endless scroll can trap us in a cycle of dependency, distracting us from more meaningful aspects of life. Stoic strategy, cultivating temperance, temperance or self-control, is key to overcoming social media addiction. Set clear boundaries for your social media. You limit the time you spend on these platforms and be mindful of how they affect your mood and well-being. Remember that you have control over how you engage with social media and by exercising self-discipline, you can reduce its grip on your life. Practicing presence. Epictetus taught that we should always be present in our thoughts and actions. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through social media, practice being fully engaged in the present moment. Whether it's spending time with loved ones, working on a project, or simply enjoying nature, prioritize real-life experiences over virtual ones. Negative Visualization Reflect on the potential negative impact of excessive social media use such as decreased productivity, feelings of inadequacy, and weakened relationships. By visualizing these consequences, you can strengthen your resolve to limit your social media use and focus on more fulfilling activities. 
3. Addressing food addiction. Food addiction, particularly to unhealthy foods, is another common struggle. This addiction often involves using food as a way to cope with emotions like stress, sadness, or boredom, leading to unhealthy eating patterns and negative consequences for our physical and mental health. Stoic Strategy Practicing Moderation The Stoic virtue of moderation, or sophrosyne, teaches us to enjoy things in life without overindulgence. When it comes to food, this means eating mindfully and in moderation. Recognize the difference between eating for nourishment and eating for comfort or distraction. Mindfulness and self-awareness. Before reaching for food, pause and ask yourself why you want to eat. Are you truly hungry or are you seeking comfort or relief from stress? By being mindful of your motivations, you can make healthier choices and break the cycle of emotional eating. Negative Visualization Consider the long-term effects of food addictions such as obesity, diabetes, and other health issues. Visualizing these outcomes can help. You make more mindful decisions about your eating habits and encourage you to seek healthier ways to cope with emotions. 4. Combating Workaholism Workaholism, or the compulsion to work excessively, is often driven by the need for achievement, validation, or control. While hard work is valuable, when taken to extremes, it can lead to burnout, strained relationships, and a diminished quality of life. Stoic Strategy Prioritizing Balance the Stoics believed in living a balanced life, where all aspects, work, relationships, health, and leisure are given appropriate attention. To combat workaholism, practice setting boundaries for your work hours and make time for rest, relationships, and personal growth. Embracing the present moment, workaholism often stems from a fear of the future or a desire to achieve more. By focusing on the present moment and recognizing that true fulfillment comes from a balanced life, not just from work, you can reduce the need to overwork. Negative Visualization Visualize the potential consequences of workaholism burnout, health problems, and missed opportunities to connect with loved ones. Let these visualizations guide you in making healthier choices about how you spend your time. 5. Overcoming Perfectionism Perfectionism is the relentless pursuit of flawlessness, often leading to anxiety, procrastination, and a fear of failure. It can prevent us from taking action or enjoying our achievements, because nothing ever seems good enough. Stoic Strategy – Embracing Imperfection The Stoics understood that perfection is an unrealistic goal. Instead of striving for flawlessness, focus on doing your best within your current circumstances. Accept that mistakes and imperfections are a natural part of life and growth. Practicing Self-Compassion Epictetus reminds us that no man is free who is not master of himself. This includes mastering our inner critic. Treat yourself with the same compassion you would offer a friend, recognizing that progress, not perfection, is the goal. Negative Visualization Imagine the stress, anxiety, and missed opportunities that come with perfectionism. By acknowledging the harm that perfectionism can cause, you can begin to let go of the need for perfection and focus on meaningful progress instead. In conclusion, overcoming addiction is a challenging journey, but Stoic philosophy provides us with powerful tools to navigate it. Whether you're dealing with smoking, social media, food, workaholism, or perfectionism, the principles of Stoicism, focusing on what we can control, practicing mindfulness, cultivating virtue, 
using negative visualization. And accepting our current reality can help you break free from these chains and reclaim your life. Remember, the path to freedom is not about perfection. It's about progress. Each step you take in the right direction is a victory in itself. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope these stoic principles inspire and empower you on your journey to overcoming addiction.